in Germany, back at the Nürburgring, a motorsport classic and a crowd magnet. The FIA president, Mr. Jean Todt, World Rally champion Sebastian Ogier, and other prominent guests drop by. Rene Rast clinches two victories at the Eiffel circuit and is suddenly a title contender. So from P1, Rene Rast retains the lead, followed by Gary Paffett in P2 and Bruno Spengler in P3. As they head in towards turn number one, Eduardo Mortara hits Robin Frines, causing the latter to spin off the track. On lap 12, though, the intensive battle was for P4. Paul de Resta will overtake Philip Eng going into turn number one. Timo Glock looking to see if he can take advantage of the situation as well. So Paul de Resta has to remain absolutely committed to get the overtake done. He does that. Uh, Philip Eng appears to yield and then Paul de Resta, there is a gap and Philip Eng goes for it, makes contact with the Paul de Resta car that we are on board with now. And as you can see, it pirouettes around. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry for Paul and for Mercedes uh, that this happened, but um, I saw a gap uh, which I decided to go in and suddenly it was gone. I, I'm sorry for them. So Paul de Resta heads into the pits for new tyres. Only one lap later, the race is all but over for him. Bruno Spengler overtakes Gary Paffett here. This is for P2 in the race. So Bruno Spengler on the approach to turn number one goes through on Gary Paffett. So BMW ahead of Mercedes-Benz. And as you can see, Philip Eng gets a drive-through penalty for that contact on Paul de Resta. And not for the first time this season, there was a brilliant battle going on between Timo Glock and Gary Paffett. Only on this occasion, it was for P3 in the race at the Nürburgring. He made a mistake actually, because he had me, he, he had the place, he had the podium and he made a mistake on the penultimate lap in the chicane and, I, and gave me a bit of space, which was good. Rennie Rast will win his fifth DTM race, followed by Bruno Spengler P2 and Gary Paffett P3. Whoa. And good to see Rene Rast celebrating in Parc Ferme along with the team. It was a tough one. Obviously, I'm very happy, but the last couple of minutes were, were tough, I have to say. Bruno was closing every lap and I saw him coming. I think one or two more laps and he would have uh, passed me. So in the end, obviously very happy. In the Drivers' Championship then, it's still Paffett, De Resta and Mortara, the top three. At the start of race two, Rennie Rast will retain the lead, but what a brilliant start from Lucas Auer. He makes a superb getaway, advancing from P5 to P2. Timo Glock and Gary Paffett are virtually welded together for P3, and there are plenty of touches between Glock and Paffett. That was going to continue for the remainder of the lap, and you can see here Timo Glock just running a bit wide, making contact with Gary Paffett. Paffett losing out not only to Glock, but also to Mike Rockefeller as well. And then you can see Timo Glock with an ill-judged attack against Lucas Auer, causing the driver lying second to spin. With Lucas, it was pretty clear, I think, uh, <clears throat> my mistake. And at the end, I just locked the rear slightly under braking had to go off the brakes again and realised on the braking I will, I will not be able to stop the car. Gary Paffett loses almost 10 seconds during his pit stop. There's a problem with his right rear wheel and that will mean that Rennie Rast can extend his cushion at the top. Pit stop for the race leader then, Bruno Spengler as he comes in. He will rejoin the race behind Rennie Rast but ahead of Paul de Resta. However, Paul de Resta will stage an attack, making the most of his tyres which are up to temperature to pass Bruno Spengler here at the Mercedes Arena. On lap 22, Marco Wittmann as well will be able to pass Bruno Spengler for P3 with the pit stop situation factored in. At the finish of the race, Rene Rast will win, beating Paul de Resta and Marco Wittmann to the flag. It's Rene Rast's second race win in a row. Yeah! The top three are in Parc Ferme. Two wins, two pole positions, never, as you said, first time in DTM, so unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, I don't know how Renu does it, uh, but he does. If you look back at the beginning of the season, where we were compared to the position, to, to be able to score a weekend like the one that we have experienced here today is incredible, it's fantastic. And Rene Rast is P3 in the Drivers' Championship now. The DTM visits the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg for the penultimate race weekend. The focus in Austria is on the thrilling fight for the title and a guest appearance by five-time World Rally Champion Sebastian Ogier. Rast will continue his impressive show here in the mountains, sealing his third and fourth victory in a row. 
Danny Yunkadea gets a great start. Timo Glock appears to bog down in P2 and is passed by Mike Rockefeller as they head uphill towards turn number one. Marco Wittmann and Augusto Farfus both will overtake Paul de Resta for P5. There was big drama though in the Ramus turn as Robin Freins turns in. He is touched by Philip Eng. Loic Duval has to slow. He gets caught by Robin Freins and the big loser is Gary Paffett. Freins got spun and, and Duval stopped and I hit the back of Duval. I had nowhere to go and, and that damaged the car and after that there was extensive damage to the to the right front of the car uh, so severely compromised our pace during the race. Following the safety car then no Indianapolis restart as the track is still fairly wet. Mike Rockefeller passes Danny Junkadea here for the lead of the race. So first of all went to the outside then to the inside at the Ramos turn and got the job done and put himself ahead of uh, Daniel Junkadea. Sebastian Ogier may be a guest driver, but he's putting up a tough fight in defending against Robin Freins. You can see he's all over the rear view mirrors to see where Robin Freins is. So Robin Freins, first of all, around the Ramus turn, tries to get up the inside, but then getting a slingshot off that Ramus turn, Sebastian Ogier keeps ahead of the Audi driver Robin Freins. This is Danny Junkadea then tracking Mike Rockefeller up towards the Ramus turn, which is turn number three here at the Red Bull Ring. Timo Glock will retire with technical problems. This will cause a safety car period. Now, in replay, the Indianapolis restart. It will appear that Danny Junkadea accelerates too early. He's only allowed to go after the second line. The stewards of the meeting punish him with a 30-second time penalty. It's a bitter blow for the Mercedes-Benz driver. I mean, I had a really good day overall. Um, really happy with the qualifying, with the race, with my guys at the pit stop. Everything was perfect. I had a really, really fun race. Obviously, I'm disappointed because I don't understand this kind of decisions. So. so, Danny Junkadea crosses the line first, but he's got that time penalty, which means Rast wins from Rockefeller and Muller, a triple victory for Audi. De Resta finishes fourth ahead of Jamie Green and local hero Lucas Auer. Triple podium uh, for Audi. Uh, the right guy on the top, uh, massive teamwork uh, from, from all our drivers. They work very well together. It's, it's really an incredible day. We wouldn't have expected that here, in particular on Spielberg. And the Audi drivers celebrate the lockout accordingly. Race number two, Gary Paffett pole position then, he gets a good start. Nico Muller P2, Rennie Rast already on a charge. Timo Glock all over the back of Pascal Wehrlein, rowing over that P4, P5 position. And as they head up towards the Ramus turn, Gary Paffett leading from Nico Muller, Paul de Resta and Rennie Rast with a blistering start. Could find himself in P4, he goes all the way around the outside of Joel Eriksson. And sure enough, does get the job done. As the cars wend their way downhill then, this undulating uh, track here at the Red Bull Ring, Gary Paffett still leading, but under pressure now from Nico Muller, the Audi driver on the outside of Gary Paffett then. And sure enough, Nico Muller does go through on Gary Paffett. So Nico Muller is now leading the race from Gary Paffett, who is P2. Pit lane, pit lane Paffett is also pitting. We have 22 laps to go. Now, it was a good stop for Nico Muller, less of a good stop for Gary Paffett. There was something that uh, caused a problem with the right rear, and he lost about three seconds, which is enough for Rast to overtake Gary Paffett for P2 in the race. There you can see Renny Rast going past uh, Gary Paffett, and then Gary Paffett passes Paul de Resta to reclaim that P3 place. So Paffett through on Paul de Resta. Renny Rast passes Nico Muller now for the virtual lead. It doesn't really matter whether Rast is actually faster or not. This maneuver is about improving his chances in the Drivers' Championship. So Rast through on Nico Muller. And right at the end of the race, it will be Renny Rast that will win his fourth consecutive DTM race with Nico Muller rounding off Audi's double triumph. Gary Paffett and Paul de Resta will finish P3 and P4. And Rast will be presented with a cake for Audi's 100th DTM race victory, which Gary tries to get him to drop. Without any words, to be honest, you know, yesterday starting ninth, today seventh, winning both races. We keep the fight open till Hockenheim, and hopefully we can repeat uh, the same in there. And the table proves what a season finale it is going to be. It is the final showdown in Hockenheim. An era comes to an end for Mercedes. The mark bids farewell to the DTM after 30 years. The fight for the title comes down to the final few meters of a fantastic season. Paul de Resta, Gary Paffett and Rene Rast stage a heart-stopping finale for the fans that could hardly be any more thrilling. And the pole sitter for race one of the two that round out the 2018 season is Lucas Auer, who gets a good getaway. Gary Paffett is P2. Augusto Farfus is P3 with Rene Rast up to P4 already. 
So the battle for the race lead is between Lucas Au and Gary Paffitt, though it's not too much of a battle because uh, Gary Paffitt goes through on Lucas Au. René Ras trying to find his way past Augusto Farfus, and of course he has Paul de Resta and Robin Freins right behind him. So Gary Paffitt leading the race, but here comes René Rast now with the DRS assist on Lucas Au to pick up that P2 place. So Gary Paffitt through the hairpin, P1. Rennie Rast through P2, and Lucas Auer is P3. Robin Freins and Paul de Resta are being told that they've got to uh, change positions, and that's because Robin Freins ran Paul de Resta off the track. Sadly, it's going to be a race retirement for Lucas Auer. The season has not been a strong one for the Austrian driver. The three title contenders then, Rennie Rast, Paul de Resta, and Gary Paffitt, as Rennie Rast comes in for his mandatory pit stop. So trying to undercut Gary Paffitt then, Rennie Rass stops first, and then Gary Paffitt comes in for his pit stop. Okay. Watch the white line, watch the white line. Being advised to watch the white line on the exit of the uh, pit lane. And now, Gary Paffitt is going to be on cold tyres. Rennie Rast is on tyres that are up to temperature because he pitted one lap earlier. Therefore, Rennie Rast is able to get past Gary Paffitt with relative ease. So into the hairpin then, Gary Paffitt is relegated by Rennie Rast, but Rast makes a mistake and Gary Paffitt goes back ahead of Rennie Rast. So fantastic driving from the two of them, with scenes reminiscent of the battle right at the start of the season between Timo Glock and Gary Paffitt. Now it's being played out by Rennie Rast and Gary Paffitt. Once again, it's side-by-side -side panel rubbing racing between the two of them. It's DTM at its absolute best. We're on board with Gary Paffitt now, who just touches the back end of the Rene Rast car. Rennie controls it. The live championship to the right-hand side of your screen if everything stays this way. Paffitt would have a slender lead over Paul de Resta and Rennie Rast. Gary's wife, Lisa, looks on really anxious. Rast then with a late move to the inside on Gary Paffitt going up towards the hairpin and Gary comes back underneath the Audi. And Gary Paffitt now has got the inside line for the next turn but it very quickly becomes the outside for the one after and therefore the advantage should be with the Audi driver Rennie Rast. Sure enough he puts himself ahead of Gary Paffitt now. Well, it's been lap after lap of fight between the two of them as Augusto Farfus loses his door on the Parabolica. That causes a safety car and, of course, the Indianapolis restart, which Rennie Rast nails absolutely perfectly. The battle for P2 in the race as Timo Glock now overtakes Gary Paffitt. Robin Freins does the same. And on lap 33, Nico Muller and Mike Rockefeller both pass Paul de Resta. Rennie Rast will win his ninth DTM race. And that is his fifth win in a row as he receives his trophy from David Coulthard. Very nice fight with, with Gary, um, which was all fair, which was great. You know, now we won the race. That's what our goal. We wanted to be in the mix for tomorrow, and I think we achieved it. Gary Paffitt retakes the lead of the Drivers' Championship ahead of the final race. No, obviously pleased with, the, with today, with, with taking back the championship lead. Um, and really positive going away tonight with, with um, knowing we're fast. It's the final race of the season. And at the start of the race, René Rast does a great job putting himself alongside Marco Wittmann. So as they go through turn number one, Rast picks up P1, Marco Wittmann P2, and we're on board with Gary Paffitt, who is P3. And that would be enough. Gary Paffitt comes in to the pit box. Watch the white man, watch the white man. And the team deliver a good pit stop. He now weaves from side to side to try and generate some temperature into those tyres. Rennie Rast is next in. And he is released. There's Rennie Rast. There is Gary Paffitt. It has been a phenomenal season and one that hasn't gone the way of Paul de Resta, who's about to lose his P13 place now to Philip Eng. Toto Wolff on the Mercedes pit wall, looks anxious. Rennie Rast has done everything that he can possibly do. This will be his 10th DTM victory. And furthermore, it will be his sixth victory in a row. Marco Wittmann will be P2. Gary Paffitt, P3, will be the 2018 DTM champion. An emotional roller coaster. At the start, it was the worst year in motorsport I've ever had, but it almost ended as the best I've ever had. Mixed feelings, but we can all be very proud of what we have achieved together. 
Marco Vettman receives his trophy for P2 in the race. I think we can be really proud of what we have achieved. We were second in the manufacturers at least and thanks to Mercedes for 30 years in that tough championship. P3 was going to be enough for Gary Paffett to become the 2018 DTM champion. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Man, you guys are incredible. This car all year has been amazing. You know, we, we did it ourselves. We, we, we fought hard. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, you all really did. And on the Baden-Württemberg centre, the banner unfurled, which said, Gary, you rocked it. And as he is congratulated by the 2017 champion, let's hear from the 2018 champion, Gary Paffett. Uh, it's incredible. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the best race we've ever had. Rene's been getting closer and closer and the pressure's been getting on, but we've got the job done. And uh, Mercedes has been with me for so long and we've worked so hard for this and it's not been easy the last few years. Today, the team have been amazing this year, so this is for everyone in the team. Mercedes-Benz have done the treble and Uli Fritz is presented with the trophy for the Manufacturers' Championship. If you look back, um, I, I think it was just exciting racing. It was uh, tension until the last lap, more or less, uh, of the season, and that is what it, DTM is all about. And uh, we have been happy uh, to compete here uh, for 30 years. And uh, yeah, I wish uh, DTM all of the success I can. The 2018 DTM season has been utterly compelling. And Gary Paffett is the 2018 DTM champion. Well, it certainly has been a crazy DTM season 2018, one of the most exciting that I've ever seen. And we've got a new champ, Gary Peffert. But unfortunately, also we have to say goodbye to Mercedes-Benz, but we've got new manufacturers coming. So DTM 2019 certainly is going to be just as exciting, if not even more. So see you then. Can't wait. Bye-bye.